so they ain't letting you go back to school? I don't know. So, what they say to your mom? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Marco, you need to stop the game, honey. Hold on, I'm almost to the save point. Come on, give me that. Give you what? No, not you. The skyline thinks he can take me. Oh, okay. Well, you can finish that part, but I'm gonna stay right here next to you. Watching. Okay, you're done. But I'm not at a safe point. I played this game. You're done. Mr. Hausman says you can't go back to school for a while. I know. It's okay, though. Won't be too long. I'll help you with your schoolwork. You won't miss a thing. He said that he sent a note home. Can you get that for me? Okay. I can't find it. I must have dropped it. Baby, you've got to remember these things. They're important. Okay. New rule. Everything gets saved until mom sees it. Deal? Sure. Deal? Deal. Okay. An archer went up into the hills to get some sport with his bow. And all the animals fled at the sight of him with the exception of the lion. When do you gotta get back? By dinner. Can you show me how to fly again? Doesn't work like that. Well then how does it work then? I don't know. Not like that. Just sort of happens. Well next time you fly, can you take me with you? Yeah, I guess. But if you figure out how to do it, you have to teach me, deal. Deal? Okay, deal. So, if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Every game ever made. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. So, what about wish number two? Probably a portable AC. Mm. You would waste your second wish on a simple machine. Why just wish for good weather all the time? No, I 
go with the portable AC. I'd be the only person in the world with a portable AC. I would sell them too. Mm. What about your third and final wish? Would you live forever? Nah. Who would want that? Watch all your family die? I think I'd just make it go away. Mm. Yeah, me too. You had an exhausting day today. Yeah, we went to the river. Wow, a river. What'd you do at the river? We skipped some rocks. I almost made it across. Brian said his dad made it across the Mississippi, but I didn't really believe him. It's so good to see you playing, having fun. I'm glad you found a friend here. A farmer was greatly annoyed by a fox, which came prowling about his yard at night and carried off his fowls. So he set a trap for him. Sorry, Brian. Mark wasn't feeling well today. Maybe tomorrow. I know he really wanted to see you today. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Dollars. I'll just stop by tomorrow. Wait. Why don't Why don't you come in now and say hello? I know he'd love to see you. Come on in. Who let you in? Your mom did. You look great. <sighs> hey, you just wait. Tomorrow. I'm gonna kick your ass. If your mom hears you, you won't have anything to worry about. She will kill yours tonight. I know. So, I guess we can go out tomorrow. Where are we going? Where do you want to go? You choose. I cannot be coming up with all the good ideas all the time. <laughs> Whatever. How about the waterfall? What would we do there? We could bring our swim chunks and play in the waterfall. Oh. Okay. Tell me everything we're gonna do there. Okay. Okay, so on the way there, we can stop by at Gym Shop as much can as you can buy. You're gonna get those sour liquor strips that you like for some reason. We try to finish them all on the way to the waterfall, but we can't. We have way too much candy. And then, when we get there, we...
It's about time. I thought you were going to sleep forever. And I thought you'd finally left me alone. You're going to stay in your PJs? Why not? You can't go to the woods in PJs. Really? What are their girls? Fine. Why do you have to make everything so difficult? Someday, you'll thank me for being the brains. <laughs> Never brain. Brian. Whoa, where do you boys think you're off to? We're out to the woods, Mrs. Roberts. Of course you are, the woods. Okay, well make sure you bring my sunshine back for lunch today. Don't forget, you both need to eat today. Of course we will. I'll bring your sunshine back. <laughs> okay, you two. Be careful. So, I was thinking we can go through the Sherwood Forest. Like Robin Hood's forest? Exactly like Robin Hood's forest. I could be Robin Hood and you could be Little John. It's okay. You can be Robin Hood. I think Little John's cooler anyways. No, it's cool. Little John's pimp. So I have a bow and arrow, and you have a long stick. I'll take the sword. You can't just take a sword. You're little John. He's a large piece of wood. Well, this little John uses a sword because it's cooler, and he's cooler. Okay, whatever. I have a bow and arrow, and you have a sword. We're on our way to find Marion. And Marion's much prettier friend. Okay, and Marion's pretty friend. Much prettier friend. This looks like a perfect place to take a rest. And guess what I brought? Orbelacy? Ha, huh, no, nah, some cupcakes. We'll bust those suckers out. As our two heroes sit, refueling with powerful sweets, two beauties approach. No, we are supposed to find them. As our two heroes sit, enjoying the cupcakes, not wishing to get up quite yet, two beautiful princesses approach from the woods. Good day, fair ladies. I am Robin, and this guy without manners is John. Please forgive his rudeness. Hello, good sirs. I am Marion, and this is my sister Guinevere. Hello, Guinevere. Might I offer you a sweet treat of cake from the cup? Indeed. Would you mind offering me to seat alongside that tree? Indeed. Guinevere can fly. You can? Anytime you want? No. I wish. Only when I feel it. Which seems harder and harder recently. I know what you mean. I haven't flown in a long time. When do you fly? Only at night. Take Mary with me. She's begging me to teach her. But I don't know how. It, it just sort of happens. You have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. So do you. Hey Marco, why don't you tell Guinevere how to use a sword? I'm going to show Marion how to shoot a bow. What do you say, my lady? Whoa, don't go. I'm tired, man. I think I'm going to go lay down. Just put it back on. We still have to show them how to defend ourselves. Oh.